All right, people. I'm here munching, munching down. I'm gonna sit because I was standing there. I just shot another video. Probably up and posted already, but. All right. I got some good a good tip last night on the beach with Tom Quinn. He's got his own radio show. Uh, I don't know if he's certifiable, but he's a genius. And so he's pretty hip to the research of the Satanism, how pervasive it is throughout Hollywood and the, and the culture. And the reason I bring it up because we're talking about waking people up. Now, I'll do a better video. I think there's some psychology-based. Not that this method isn't psychology-based, but try it and let me know how it goes. In my mind, it seemed revelatory, like when I was hearing it last night. And I think I've had the inclination before, but now it's stuck because it's the conversation, right? Like, if you approach people and start talking about masks and they were in a mask, it might be defensive, there might be some partisanship. And so you don't want to set yourself up as adversarial. Uh, then you're in a debate. And that might not be the best way to wake people up. Could be. But the idea is to not do a direct attack, but kind of a lateral move, right? A pincer, I guess. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I was thinking instead of, like, attacking the masks and the vaccines and the science which I've been doing quite unsuccessfully, but I've had some successes. I talk about the money. I'm like, fiat, crypto, right? That's how I saw the whole thing. That's what it's really about. The failure of the currency and the dollar uh, collapse. And yeah, and thus the country, you know, so you connect the dots and, uh, but people have to kind of know history and it's difficult. Anyway, shout to Tom. Was, uh, he's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> but he basically, you know, starts the conversations with, um, hey, did you know, you know, Michelle Obama is a man? Most people are like, what? Right, Obama is pretty much a homo, and Michelle's a tranny. And it's hard for people to wrap their heads around, but, I mean, maybe not so much her, right? And then you could look at Venus and Serena Williams. Kind of pretty obvious in your face. Um, but we've, we've been hypnotized, right? To not see it. And, uh, right, how does Venus or Serena, whatever, how do they dominate? You know what I mean? Like, not right. <laughs> right, how do they dominate for decades? <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's a good conversation. Starter. Most people are into the Hollywood culture and the sports. And then you start getting into like, well, Jay-Z's a woman. Beyonce's a man. All of Hollywood music, all these celebrities are, are cross-gender. You got Aerosmith. Steven Tyler. Pretty sure. Steven Tyler's a woman. That's how he's getting all his high notes. <laughs> And, uh, I know, it's pretty scary. There's a video I've been putting out on Facebook, a Chilean Childs, and he's just going through all the Illuminati and, and everybody, even Bob Marley, which I don't buy into 100%, but, um, because his lyrics are so Christian and love, you know, is a message. So I know he had Illuminati, um, the Mason symbol on his albums with a G or whatever. So he's probably one of those good Masons, right? Who doesn't realize it's a satanic cult. Until the end, they don't really indoctrinate you or let you know. So most of the Masons, you know, are good Christians, unfortunately, in a satanic cult. Good trick. Good one, Satan. Yeah, definitely good one. Um, <laughs> so, you know, maybe that's a back way around people waking up and seeing the agenda. Try it, right? You see a masker, you want to go up to him and say, hey, 
Why are you wearing that mask? Not a good icebreaker. Not a good one-liner. Like walking up with a chick in a bar and say, how'd you like to ride my face? Um, might be might be a good <laughs> good opener, but it could be a little too abrupt or too forward <laughs> for some, for most. <laughs> right, so you throw them off guard, right? That's what the day gamers do. That's what the, the hustlers do, the date hustlers, right? Um, you know, instead of hitting them with a standard one-liner that they're going to expect, you know, something sexual or whatever, um, just take that off the board, right? Go up to a girl, ask her about, I don't know, basketball, LeBron James or something. But anyway, there you go. So try it. Go up to people and uh, talk about, you know, the Hollywood, the transgender, the Satanist movement. See how prevalent it is. See how much people know about it. I didn't know. I didn't realize it was so prevalent. I mean, I guess you did. You kind of know. But, like, I'm watching Stevie Mix and Fleetwood Mac. Stevie Mix, Stevie Nix. And she's talking about it's a secret society, a secret club, and, you know, they're all covering one eye and doing the 666 or whatever. And, uh, well, there, now I did it, so now you're going to have me memes doing that shit. Um, they're going to say I'm Satanist. So, <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> Fucking bastards. You know, and then my friend... Uh, He's like, metal, bro, metal. He's throwing up, you know, the horn signs or whatever. And that's that's Hawaii Shaka, although it kind of is hornish. Um, you know, I'm like, are you Satanist? He's like, metal, bro, metal. Yeah, well, metal, what they're pushing Satanism. Like, uh, it's not cool to be rock and roll. I know you think it's cool to be rebellious. But if you're a Christian and a Catholic and you're yeah, metal, bro, metal, and I throw the flesh and signs, you're dumb. You're being tricked. You're being tricked by Satan. And you think it's no big deal, but it is a big deal. It is a big deal. I'll let your guard down. I'll be taken over by evil. You all want to believe Satan isn't real? Okay, great. You're agnostic. You're atheist. You don't buy into all that stupid shit. I get it. That's all good. But... You don't think there's evil in the world? You don't think there's people who like to watch you suffer? I like to think there's not, but if there is, it's juxtaposed to the way I feel. I don't wish suffering upon anyone. Um, you know, I wish to ease suffering, right? That's my mission in life. So anyway, people, God bless you. May you go forward without suffering and may you ease the suffering of others. Uh, may God be with you and the Holy Spirit protect you and bring you light and love. <clears throat> if you're an atheist or agnostic, may the universe bring you good tidings, all right? May it bring you good favor. May the universe have your back and support you, right? And I also want to let you know that it's not up to the universe, it's up to you. So if you take ownership and you believe the universe is supporting you, um, and you have an internal locus of control as opposed to an external locus, you're going to have much more success. That's just straight from psychology. Um, yeah, so be happy, be healthy. Check the video below. There's going to be a link, all right, Bring you to my website, um, DC Troy, no, yeah, DC Troy. We're on BitChute. We got DC Troy dot life, not dot com. DC Troy dot life for life, all right? Uh, so click on the link and we'll get you to a hypnosis video, all right? My hypnosis video is going to help you reprogram your mind for the positive. We want to get you on track with the universe. If you believe the universe is supporting you, then, you know, when things go wrong, you realize there's nothing going wrong, but it just temporarily may seem like you're taking a diversion. And uh, it's a good, it's a good detour. You're avoiding the bridge that's out, right? So it's getting you to where you need to go on the detour of life. So click below, get your mind right. Get your mind right. Get the video 
and do your hypnosis on yourself. Okay, get your mind right. When your mind is right, your body's going to go right. Work on your spirit. Okay, get in touch with the universe. Make sure you're working together with the universe. That's the highest vibration. If you're out of sync with the universe, you know, your mind's not going to be right. Your body's not going to be right. Um, you're not going to be effective, right? So spirit is the highest vibration in the triune of healing. And, uh, you know, as a chiropractor, we're doing physical interventions is probably the lowest vibration. So it's not going to be as effective as if you had a spiritual intervention, right? So go see your priest. Go go make your peace with God and the universe, all right? Uh, maybe you need to just go to the beach or whatever you need to do. But uh, do that, right? Work on your spirit, all right? The more you work on it, uh, the happier you're going to be, right? The more excited you're going to be about life and you're going to be, you know, feeling like you're in control and you can uh, take charge of life because that's the reality. That's the way I see it. And the moment you feel that you're not in control and the universe is controlling you, you're out of control, all right? So, uh, which is okay, right? You want to let Jesus take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Drive me home. Hey, sometimes, you know, you need that. Uh, it's all good, right? But in the end, you got to take care of yourself, okay? Um, and if you do a good job, we can help take care of others, right? And that's really what it's all about. So, you know, you want to try find some true happiness. Um, you want to evolve spiritually. You know, that's the way to go, right? Try to work on making the world a better place and just play the cards you have, man. If you got three friends, um, you know, maybe just be nice to them instead of uh, being a little hard on them. And, uh, you know, or maybe you want to give them some tough love, change it up, right? But uh, do what you got to do. Play your cards the best way you see to play your hand. Sometimes you're going to lose the hand regardless, but there's always another hand. There's always another deal coming out, right? Play your cards and move on. Don't get stuck in limbo. Um, and what? We're going to, you know, we're going to have a lot of stuff here, right? Working on the mind. I'm going to give you a book list and thinking about books. A lot of books self-help uh, help me. You know, I've achieved a lot of success comparatively, relatively from where I was, from where I started uh, to where I am. I mean, I'm not trying to be too braggadocious, but I do want to sell you on my credentials, right? Why do you want to watch my video? Who the hell am I? Well, I came from the ghetto. I came from nowhere and became a doctor of chiropractic, right? I went from basically, what, driving a truck in New York and selling weed and, uh, you know, struggling to get by to, you know, becoming financially successful and... I'm not totally financially free, actually, but, you know, I do have some savings. I do have a little emergency fund. I'm starting to look into investing. I lost some money on crypto. I had money to lose on crypto, so that's doing pretty good. One of my friends from high school is like, look, if I had your money, I could throw mine away. <laughs> so it's all relative. You know what I mean? You got 20000 in bank or uh, invested or whatever. You know, a lot of people don't have that 20000 Most people have don't have $500 in emergency fund. Uh, they're living check to check, right? I think 76% 76, 76 of people live in check to check. So you're struggling financially, right? You're looking for financial advice. And I'm not a financial guru. I'm not even financially free. So you definitely want to get you some better financial gurus than me. But... If I'm a guy you could relate to, you're like, hey, that Dr. Troy guy, he seems relatable. He's just a dude from Queens. He's just an Italian, Scottish dude, you know. He's a normal, tangible guy. If he could do it, I could do it, right? That's the message I'm putting out there for you. If I could do it, being half a moron. I mean, I'm technically a super genius, but... It, the IQ is malleable, right? It doesn't matter what your IQ is. So if you've been told you, you're labeled as a low IQ or you have difficulty learning, forget all that bullshit. I'm here to fucking save you. I'm here to tell you that's some bullshit, all right? Um, I'm dyslexic and I'm a fucking speed reader and I graduated with my doctorate from chiropractic school with honors. They'll never take that away. Like I could lose my license potentially, knock wood, for almost anything actually. Um, and so that's a whole nother video. We'll get into that one. Um, the whole licensing thing, licensing thing is kind of political uh, worldview stuff. We could rant on that. But for now, we're just looking at your success, right? Um, I use the law of attraction. That's why I'm talking about Jake Ducey. I try to watch Jace, Jake Ducey, his videos, four or five days a week, sometimes six, seven. Joe Dispenza, you know, whatever it is, Bob Proctor, Anthony Robbins. I've been through all the self-help gurus and... 
I'm not learning a whole lot of new stuff, but they're reinforcing the stuff I know already and helping me learn it because to know is to do and then to start putting into effect, into action. It takes years sometimes. Could be first day, boom, you can have tremendous effects. But if you have a lot of blocks, um, you know, you might be procrastinating putting these things into action. So you internalize them subliminally and then it becomes part of your action, but part of your vernacular as you speak, you know, prosperity into manifestation through the 21 laws of prosperity. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to work with the 21 uh, laws of prosperity. Definitely been a great help for my success. You know, in spirituality, I find when you're in, in sync with the universe or God, you're going to have synchronicities like Redfield says in Celestine Prophecy where you're speeding up faster and faster. So you know you're right on the right path. Uh, you'll see these synchronicities and more synchronicities. But also they have more when you get outside of your box. This is not a video on synchronicities. Uh, we'll get more into that on other videos. I'm just going to rant and talk about everything on the planet. But when we bring it back to the core, it's about you and your success, right? I'm talking about the five areas. Now, am I a financial guru giving you success? My friend's like, oh, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. You know, what credentials do you have, right? Like, he's worrying about me getting sued or whatever. Disclaimer, this is not a financial advice, like all the crypto people say, Right? Um, I don't think Jake Ducey's giving you financial advice, but you know, he made success. I look at him, he's a young kid, a young guy, positive into Bob Proctor, came from basically nowhere, not a great college education or whatever. And you know, whatever, he's carved out his success through trial and error and, uh, you know, bootstrapping. He's out there selling his books out of the trunk of his car. So... You know, whatever, man, I'm inspired. It makes me want to put out a book, even though Jesus didn't put out books. But, you know, I, I don't know. Books are still a thing. Uh, you know, we got the videos. We're doing video books. People still like paper, and uh, and it's a good thing to get off the grid. And, then, and if the grid goes down, you get a paper books. So anyway, you know, we're looking at Jake Ducey, and uh, he's got it right. He's talking about the law of attraction attracting success in all the areas money relationships i'm not a relationship expert i'm single i'm single most of my life never been married who the hell am i giving you a relationship advice but i'm not giving you relationship advice i'm not giving you money advice uh, i'm not even really giving you health advice even though i'm a health expert i'm just showing you what i do i'm giving you tips and tricks showing you how i live the life walk the walk not just talk the talk all right it's simple but it ain't easy and like they say with the bullshit COVID, whatever, we're, we're in this together, people. All right? So, start by taking control of your life. Take control of your mind and your thoughts. You got anxiety? We need to start meditating. We'll get into that. I'll teach you how to meditate. But for now, just listen to these videos. All right? We'll have an audio video. Uh, audios, videos, MP3s, whatever format you need, you can listen to in your sleep. Reprogram your mind and stop letting society and the world program it for you because many of you have financial blocks you don't even realize, okay? Uh, Jake Ducey turned me on to T. Harv Ecker, The Millionaire Mindset. Uh, I'm thinking of Eckhart Tolle's another good book. Yeah, but The Millionaire Mindset, that's what you need. You want to be a millionaire? Think like a millionaire. They don't think like us. All right, I have poverty mindset. That's why I have poverty. <laughs> but the more I've changed my mindset towards abundance, um, I've gained more abundance. And so it's kind of equal to that, right? And I'm programming myself to be financially free. And I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I mean, right here, this is a device to help me get financially free, right? The trick is, the idea is the more people that I help, the more I'm going to be helped. So if my goal is to reach financial freedom, I have to help other people reach financial freedom, right? Or help other people become more healthy. I've been great at uh, doing that as a chiropractor, you know, but it's one person at a time. Uh, I can lecture to multiple people, get a little leverage, even better. Um, and that's what we're doing here. So share, subscribe, hit the like button, all that crap. Um, Share it on Facebook. You know, get the message out there. This is free stuff. I'm giving you tons of tips and tricks, tons of YouTubers and websites. You don't have to sift through them all. You could find the ones that I like, see who I'm following. Might save you a lot of time, a lot of effort. We got John Bergman. Um, you know, that's what's up. If you're into the natural and you want to get off the pharma, you want to get away from the drugs, the whole allopathic lifestyle, that's what this channel is about. 
We're doing holistic lifestyle, all right? We're doing natural health, abundance, financial freedom. We're doing, you know, connections, happiness through your relationships. I've learned a lot. I'm doing the shadow work. I'm learning about what a narcissist I am and what a narcissist magnet I am, right? What a codependent I am, uh, that I'm an empath. Know thyself, right? If you know yourself, you're going to be ahead of the game. Good luck knowing yourself, though. Probably take a whole lifetime to get an inkling. Uh, but the more you know, the higher you go. And it's your attitude, not your aptitude, that determines your altitude, all right? So may you climb higher. May you fly higher. Um, take me with you. <laughs> I'm losing weight. I'm lightening the load. As I become enlightened, I won't be much uh, to carry with you, right? I can just float alongside you. So that's it, people. We're going to the moon and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh click the links share you know hook a brother up help your people help themselves right that's what i'm here to do is help you help yourself i can't do it for you even if you come to my office and i crack your neck and crack your back that's anything i ain't gonna do for you all right <laughs> you gotta support it if you go and in, back into your crazy stressful lifestyle you know, after I loosen you up and crack you up and you're going to be feeling good, you're going to go right back to your stressful life and your joints are going to lock up again. Your system's going to lock up again, right? So we need to reprogram the mind. We need to change the thought process. Um, yeah, listen to the video over and over. Listen to it three times a day, all right? Get your mind right. This is what's important. Um, it has to become subliminal. It has to become second nature to you, right? I find myself like at the cash register all the time. They're like, you know, whatever the price is, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. And I cringe. I'm like, oh, 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 it hurts me to pay the bill. You know what I mean? That's scarcity mindset, right? If I have the notion that, okay, boom, the money is not a thing. The price is higher than I thought, whatever. I thought it was going to be $20. Now he's telling me 100. Am I going to get a shock to my nervous system? Ooh, oh, oh, I thought it was too much. Now am I going to say something? Oh, oh, that's higher than I thought. Right? So I always have these little momentary reactions and conversations at the cash register because I'm so programmed. You know, and then we go around saying things like, oh, I'm broke. Well, you're manifesting that. Keep saying it. You're going to be broke. Right? So I start saying I'm rich and use the law of attraction in your favor. If you're not hip to the law of attraction, I would suggest you start with the movie The Secret. Another one is uh, What the Bleep Do We Know? These are some old movies, but yeah, The Secret, pretty good. Um, start with that and start with my video down below, all right? Start with my audio hypnosis MP3 download, all right? And own it, internalize it. Read T. Harv Acker, Millionaire Mindset. Read the books. Go after the YouTubers. Make it your mission. Make it your goal. Make it your priority to, to acquire an abundance mindset, right? Not just for financial, but like in connections and networking, right? In your relationships, you know, an abundance of love instead of a scarcity. Um, yeah, you know, this positive mindset is going to change the odds in your favor and it's going to change your outcomes. Um, straight up math. So, you know, we're trying to work here in the supernatural, but work in the natural, right? They say you got to believe in the supernatural, but work in the natural. It's another one of the laws of prosperity. Um, 21 laws of prosperity. So we'll be using these 21 laws and the seven basic human needs to keep us drawing us back to center. And... You know, the five pillars, mind, body, spirit, and money and connections and relationships. You get all that going, you're going to live your best life. You got to be your best self. You know, we got the diet and nutrition, and we're going to talk about, you know, the light poisoning and all the, the keys and ticks and tips and tricks and uh, to success and health. You know, it's a tough road to navigate because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Some of it's nefarious. Some of it's on purpose. They're trying to misdirect you. They might be biased by profits, food industry, notorious for that kind of stuff, pharma, big pharma. You know, they're looking out maybe for their interests and not necessarily yours. Um, you know, and whatever. There's a lot of side effects on the pharma. So in, in a natural lifestyle, you want to try to avoid drugs with side effects or drugs. They all have side effects. But even natural drugs... Um, with less side effects, you know, like 
do you really need to stimulate yourself that far, right? Do you need supplements in your diet? Well, not if you got a good diet. So that's what we're going to try to do is get a good diet. But we also want to understand that light trumps diet. And so we want to pay attention to that. And, you know, and spirit trumps all that, right? So, you know, and money, whatever is going to be a part of that. So we can't neglect it. I want to just do a health channel because uh, that's my wheelhouse. I'm, a, you know, a chiropractor, whatever. So I have some credentials in that area. But what does that mean? I can't speak about relationships. I can't speak about money. Uh, BS. I feel I have something to offer you even though I, I may not have the best relations, relationships or, you know, be financially free. So, you know, maybe I'm steering you in the wrong direction and, uh, you know, giving you an example of what not to do, right? Like in crypto, I could be a great example of, of how to lose money <laughs> and what not to do. Uh, you know, so take it with a grain of salt, right? You might, I suggest you get a, an area, a coach in every single one of those five areas of your life. Uh, money coaches, I like Garrett Gunderson, I like Robert Kiyosaki, um, Grant Cardone, putting a lot of good stuff out there for your mind. All right, so these are pearls, people. When I drop a name, write it down. Pay attention. All right. I'm not just dropping names willy nilly. These are people I follow. These are people that have changed my life. These are people that can change you life to get you where you need to go. All right. We're running along in this video and uh, I think it's about time. We're going to wrap it up. So hit, it, hit me up down below. Questions, comments. Share the link, people. Share. All right. That's it for today. Keep rocking. Peace and love.